2024. We are back. Welcome to 2024. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Well, it's hard to say Happy New Year when it's the end of January. We're already one twelfth through the calendar yeah, year, and we're still saying Happy New Year. But Australia doesn't wake up until February. Yeah, I was speaking to somebody yesterday who was like, you know, I really haven't got my wheels kind of cranking yet for this year. I said, that's all right. The year only starts after Australia Day for so many people. Yeah, I heard from Cup Day to Australia Day. Australia yeah. goes on hiatus. Well, anyway, it's welcome back. Welcome back. We're very excited to be back. There's no, there's no greater way to start the rocket with the, the year with a rocket than the actual rocket, which is the Canva rocket. Yeah, I mean, Canva's been in the press quite a lot over the month of January. There's been, um, so firstly, they've, they've now ticked over 4,000 employees globally. And a couple of days ago, there was a, an, an initial sneak peek into their new headquarters in Sydney, yep. which is targeted for a 2026 opening. Yep. And it looks quite, quite, uh, quite cool. Yep. Lots of, uh, lots of things giving back to the community, to be able to run events, rooftops, you know, all the, all the things that you have at Creative Cubes across all the different venues that you've got. But for Canva. But for oh, Canva. And Canva's community. Yeah. And, uh, and in addition to that, they also smashed through their 2023 revenue targets, achieving do. over two billion US dollars. It's an extraordinary, extraordinary uh, result. And and there's conversation around their secondaries. Yeah, and so so there's a there's a impending secondary sale, which is where stock is bought from existing shareholders. So not new money for the company to grow. Non dilutive. Not non dilutive, but for early employees or early investors to be able to take money off the table, in the order of 1.5 billion US dollars, which is. That's the Mark Cuban club, the billion dollar boys club. <laughs> anyway, we've got the last one point five billion, yeah, one point five billion, which is ginormous. So you would assume that early VCs, early employees, maybe the founders are all taking a little bit of money off the table to be able to get to that ginormous figure. The great news about that is that it's going to show that there's liquidity back in the market. So money will hopefully be recycled back into new founders, new startups, and uh, new innovation coming out of Australia so that the next Canva can be created. Which is a great segue into funding because some of those people that are exiting or part sell downs will, like you said, recycle money in, maybe uh, start family offices for maybe the founders. Um, so the funding landscape. But the funding landscape, whilst that's great, but the yeah. funding landscape from 2022 to 2023 declined significantly. Yeah. You remember the boom of during the pandemic, oh, there was man. just money sloshing everywhere. It yeah. was just a, it was I mean, just a pool of, it was just a pool of cash everywhere. Ty, you might be able to splice in our like every week. We are um, uh, during that time. We were yeah. like oh, another yeah. mega round, yeah. another mega round, another mega yeah. round. Yeah, it was exhausting. Funding was down significantly in 2023. So when we look into 2024, you know, we were talking about this just before. I'm not sure whether it's going to get that easy for founders to be able to raise. Certainly not like the heyday of the pandemic days. Um, there will, you know, my view is that there will be there'll be mega rounds. We will see mega totally. rounds with the Canva secondary and also Employment Hero and Pay.com, there was also secondary rounds. So that's gonna happen, I think, more often for the bigger companies, yep. maybe Rocked, maybe Airwallex, other bigger companies like that. The scale-ups may do some secondary rounds, really just to reduce the pressure before having to um, get to the IPO stage. Yeah, new funding? New funding, yep. Um, new fund? New fund, um, yeah. Well, so <laughs> 5V Capital, um, Sydney founded, um, raised their fifth fund of $770 million to invest in uh, the next generation of startups. So, so whilst the funding is, de- it's really, you know, it's mixed messages out there for yes. founders. You know, where we're, we're spending, you know, the, the investors are deploying less capital, but there are new funds that are raising, raising you know, new funds to deploy, but they might not be deploying at the pace that they've deployed in the past. So founders that, really need to read, read the market. Well, founders, good businesses are getting invested. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Businesses that are uh, high risk, Probably not. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. Tech Council of Australia. Yeah, so the CEO K Pounder resigned. So Tech Council of Australia is a uh, an, an advocate for the tech industry, the startup industry here in Australia. They've got Robin Denham, who's the chair of um, Tech Council of Australia, but also chair of uh, of Tesla. Yep. Um, on on their board, and they've also got you know. Uh, Cliff from Canva, they've got Anthony Eisen from Afterpay, they've got Didier from Culture Amp, 
Um, who else have they got? They got Scott from Atlassian, co-CEO and co-founder of Atlassian. So they've got an incredible board that are out there advocating you know, for policy, things like AI, things like skills visas, to be able to really ensure our innovation ecosystem is, is skyrocketing. She's resigned, so they're going to have to go out and find another, another person. Mate, you're oh, busy enough. Uh, yeah, sorry. Mate, you're busy enough. Full-time job. Scaling. Um, market caps. So this is exciting. So, you know, yeah, we saw when Apple and Microsoft hit $1 trillion US market cap. Then we saw them hit $2 trillion market cap. And it's been like a, a race. Who's got the biggest market cap? Who is the biggest company in the world? It's great that they're a tech company that's, yeah. that's fighting for this, this, uh, this title. Uh, Microsoft did overrun, as in like become the biggest company over Apple. But Apple's come back and shot through the three trillion dollar mark just yesterday. I love Apple. Actually, I'm on my way to the Apple store today. <laughs> I'm gonna go get something. Um, I think between you and I, we've got almost every Apple product that much. exists. I just need a new remote because mine. Although there is one product that was launched this week from Apple, the Vision Pro. Yeah. What do you think? Are we getting it? I mean, not, I, I, I'm, this is a long stretch. For yeah. Me. Not one I mean, I buy a lot of Apple products. Yeah. That's a stretch for no, me. No, I am excited about it. My wife streams on her laptop in bed every night. I would love nothing more than to just to give it to her. But <laughs> Netflix said they're not going to be putting an app on it in the short well, term. I think then Netflix loses their subscription from the Scovron family. Mate, don't say that. No, it's like, like I think you have to be where, at the mouth of the river. I think we're, and, if, and if this is a success, there are people saying this is going to be a flop. But if it is a success, um, then you need to be there. Well, they're out. You let us know in the comments whether you're going to buy an Apple Vision Pro or not. Toby, it's been fun. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit like spun out that we only mentioned Elon Musk once uh, in, this, in this segment. I don't even think we mentioned him once. Well, we mentioned Tesla. We mentioned Tesla. We just didn't Robin, mention Elon. but not Elon. All right, guys. Happy New Year.